unboxing time with the Edge Loser, and I didn't really know much about this brand. I actually had to go do a couple of videos on YouTube. There's some other watch channels that have checked out these watches. Um, when this brand reached out to me, I was, you know, I get a lot of brands reaching out to me. So sometimes I'm apprehensive, but when they, when I see something that's, you know, it's outside our typical wheelhouse for a lot of the watches that come on this channel, but still they're creative, then I, I, I want to see them, right? So like it's, it piques my own curiosity as well. And this is one of those because this is like an award-winning design. Um, it has a tourbillon uh, design here. It has the architecture of the movement is incorporated into the, um, the watch itself. So, uh, if I can unwrap this thing, here we go. There's a little tab there. I just didn't see it. But, uh, I don't know. I'm drawn to these for some reason. Like, there's a few other brands that I've handled. This one is probably the most open construction. Like, you can see completely through the thing. Like, it's, it's wild. It almost looks like there's not enough components there for the watch to even run. So... It's very intriguing to me. I, I look forward to studying this a little bit. Uh, you know, they even skeletonized some of the uh, the components there that you don't typically see. So, like, if we wind this up, this is this is incredible, and this is not a very expensive watch, all things considered. So there you go. You can see that thing run. And as a watch, a mechanical watch enthusiast, I think occasionally handling something like this, potentially owning something like this, is, is not, I don't want to say important, but it's definitely entertaining and fun because you get to see what is actually happening inside the watch, unobstructed by a dial or a rotor, or, I mean, even the hands are skeletonized. So the focus here is on the mechanical bits of the watch. But they still, like I said, maintain a overall relative affordable price point for what is constructed here. So this thing's really fun. I'll do a full video as soon as I can. You can still tell the time on this. It's not like it's, you know, impractical or anything like that. You still legit could wear this as a watch and tell the time. There's no running seconds hand, but rather you have a tourbillon here spinning away. So I think that kind of trumps a seconds hand for all those that say, ah, I got to have a seconds hand. I don't know. I'd take that spinny thing over a seconds hand, guys. <laughs> That's just me geeking out, though. You know what I mean? So very fun watch. Not massive either. Oftentimes you'll see these watches constructed and they're really huge. Here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. This is a nominal sized watch. This is not unwearable this is a very cool watch my only concern potentially would be you know is it fragile i don't know maybe we test that maybe we wear it a little bit and see how does it hold up so like i said full video as soon as i can i'll get that bumped out but i wanted to get this done looks like we even have a little bit of loom i think we have a little bit of loom i don't know how potent it'll be but uh, yeah we have some loom on that outer chapter there, and then of course on the hour and minute hand there, looks like two different colors. So, thanks for watching the unboxing. Full video soon.